while randomly scrolling through various websites, one particular button has caught my attention. When it is hovered, it has shown this beautiful animation, which we can try to recreate today. So for that, initially I created a basic HTML file and styled the body by setting its width and height to 100%, removed the default margin and padding, and I used display grid to place its child elements at center. Next you start by creating a button element, we can see the empty button. Next create a text element to display the text on the button, we can see it here. Then create a wave element to create the wave effect. This is the entire HTML structure, which we will style it. Start by styling the button, by setting its width to 250 pixels and height to 60 pixels, and applying a background as shown. We can see the width and height of the button. Next set a solid black border of 0.5mm thickness, and border radius of 5mm. We can see the curved borders here. Next set a box shadow by setting the blur value to 0 which will create a simple neubrutalistic effect. Finally set cursor to pointer and position to relative. Next style the text element by setting the font size and font weight as shown. Next I linked Google Fonts to set the font family. Click at the top right corner to know more about Google Fonts. Then set the font family. Next style the wave element by setting its position to absolute, width to 100% and height to 50%, set background to waves image, similar to the original one. Link to image in description. But we cannot see any change here. So set the background size to 200% and 100% in X and Y directions respectively. Position it properly at top 50% and left 0. We can see the wave element is overflowing out of the button. Fix it by setting overflow hidden for the button element. Here is the wave element. Next add a linear animation named wave, of duration 2 seconds and repeating infinitely. Then create the wave animation changing the background position x from 0 to 200%. The wave animation is overlapping with the text element. To fix it, set z index to 1 for text element. But to see the change, make sure to set the position to relative. Now the animation should only appear when the button is hovered. For that initially hide the wave motion, by setting the top to 100% from 50%, and when the button is hovered target the wave element, and set it at top 50%. We can make the hover effect smoother, by adding a transition of 0.5 seconds for the wave element. Next we can add a simple animation for the box shadow also. For that, when the button is hovered set the box shadow as shown. To make it smoother add a transition of 0.3 seconds for the button. And you will have your wavy effect for the button ready. If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.